What's up and welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Max at Wee Video, and as always, we've got another great episode lined up for you today. This time we'll be going over Video Magic Part 2. Uh, this was really fun to shoot and kind of work on the editor with this. Uh, excited to show you that, as well as kind of another little hack for our teachers out there. Uh, with that, let's bring on our co-host, Tyler Wall. Hey, Max. Happy Tuesday once again. Yeah. <laughs> Another Tuesday, this time with no beard. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> clean shaven for this one. We've got an exciting episode for you guys today. Uh, me and Max had some fun shooting some more movie magic yesterday. So let's go ahead and hop right into the editor. Let's do it. Yeah, we had some great feedback last week, uh, which kind of led us to part two this week. So this was kind of like a fun little... I don't know what you would call like mini me that we did with uh, green screen uh, and we video. Uh, let's show the whole thing through Tyler. Yeah, let's go ahead and preview this for you guys, and then we'll show you how step we did it. Step, how we did it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so you see the effect there. We made a miniature Max, and he's on the desk. Uh, you even get a little poke interaction there. So with this, it's basically green screen is what's happening. So you can see these two clips here are chroma keyed out. So we'll show you how we did that. Uh, we actually went ahead and applied a shadow down here as well. So we'll show you guys how you can do that. And um, basically this effect you just have to keep in mind how to plan this out. So some good acting here by Max. Um, we'll show you the green, the original green screen clip. <laughs> Let me pull that up. All right, so here you can see how we went about shooting the green screen clip. Max is on an actual green screen wall, and then we actually put this green screen on the floor too. That's important because we wanted to get Max's feet in this shot. Because he is uh, his full body perspective, we need to be on the table. You need this green screen on the floor as well. Exactly. Yeah, and for kind of viewers out there, uh, this was really easy to do, especially if you have the fabric. We just took two safety pin or uh, push pins and pinned the fabric up so it covered the edge right there. And then tried to do our best to smooth out the wrinkles. Right, you want great lighting, so light that green screen as best you can. That's gonna help your keying. And you can see uh, Max's reaction here. This is a poke. <laughs> so let's go ahead and delete these clips in our timeline, and we'll show you the process of how you would go about green screening this out. So let's bring this clip in. Okay, so using the green screen tool or chroma keying is very easy. You're just gonna get into your clip editor. So you use this pencil icon or double click your clip. And then go to this icon here that looks like a guy on a green screen. And then all we have to do is select this color picker, select the green, and immediately, we knock out that green background. So there are some adjustments we can make here to get some of the uh, green fringe around Max's hair. You can see how moving this slider actually adjusts that. So let's go right around there, actually. So just play with these sliders to try and get the best look you can with your green screen. You can see if you go too far, we're actually losing some of Max's shorts there. Yeah. So 
So that looks pretty good for me. Let's go ahead and save those changes. And Max is still pretty big. So what we need to do here is go back into our clip editor, use the transform tab. And then because we shot Max on that full perspective green screen, we can actually scale him all the way down and then move him wherever we like on this desk. Coffee cup size, yeah. So yeah, we've got a little mini Max here. <laughs> yeah, so, so you, once you find the placement you like, just save those changes. And then obviously you're going to want to line up the action. So let's cut this down to where he's waving. Right about there. Move this section down. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I think we can make it look a little bit better by applying that shadow, however. Yeah, the shadow really sells it. Right now, it kind of looks not that natural, <laughs> I guess is the, the way to put it. Uh, Max is on this table, but it seems off. So let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. Hold Shift, click and drag to a section that's not, or section that's available, a video track, and that'll create an exact duplicate of your clip. So let's go ahead and take this clip, and then what we're gonna do is just mirror it by hitting this vertical mirror flip. So now we have two maxes. Um, you're gonna take the second flipped max and then just line up his shoes. And this is a technique you could use with a lot of different things, uh, graphics, anything that you think would need some sort of shadow or mirror effect. Yeah, in fact, we, we actually did this with motion titles for kind of a cool effect uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. All right, so doesn't really look like a shadow right now. We're going to go ahead and hit this effects button and apply the blur. And that's getting us closer. Drop the opacity a bit. Ground 30. And now we're really starting to get that shadow look. And it's really selling the idea that Max is on this table with a shadow. You can even see his hand wave down here is going to match up exactly because we duplicated this clip. So that's a really fun effect to use. Yeah, so then we could just continue the process, I guess. That poke didn't exactly hit max. So just get back into your clip editor and you can play around with where that is, the poke is happening. So this could take a little tinkering. Yeah, pretty pretty straightforward process. And uh, yeah, this was actually shot using just an iPhone 6. Uh, so it just goes to show kind of the quality of what you can do. You don't need a high budget, expensive camera, expensive lights. This was all done just with your standard indoor lighting. Yeah, you don't need fancy equipment. A lot of times it just comes down to the idea and how you execute. 
So that's pretty close. I'm liking that. Let's add our shadow again. Apply the blur effect, decrease the opacity. Again, you're just doing that by selecting the line segment icon. Yep, right here. And we added this sound effect here to sell the little poke, kind of a cartoony poke sound. Bloop. That obviously the music in the background. There you go. Pretty fun. We did this very quickly. Um, yesterday we shot this. So it doesn't take much to make a very cool effect within Wii Video using green screen. Yeah, and obviously there's a lot of kind of endless possibilities with this kind of framework and idea. Uh, you can take this a lot further, but basically very simple to do. Uh, the big thing to keep in mind is obviously the green screen floor. This wouldn't have been able to wouldn't able to be pulled this off if we uh, if we didn't have that. All yeah. right. If you shot just Max's from his waist up. This all his lower half would be cut off, so we wouldn't be able to place him on the table. So yeah, that's very important here. And if you're going to use the transform tab on green screen, you might want to think about shooting the entire perspective of your subject. Yeah. Yeah, and as the new X guy just commented, yeah, this was done with basically the mirroring effect, creating a shadow. Awesome. Well, we got one other thing to show today, Tyler. Uh, unless you pull it up, I kind of give a little background here. So, we video is pretty big uh, in the education sector, uh, with lots of schools, both teachers and students, leveraging we video on a day-to-day -day basis in the classroom. Uh, and obviously, in light of social distancing, quarantine, uh, a lot of classes are not the way we're used to. Uh, with a lot of teachers working from home. So this was actually a suggestion uh, that we heard from a teacher and then put into practice, uh, tried to replicate it. The idea here is that a lot of teachers while teaching now facing a computer or a camera doing webinar style classes are kind of missing that personal touch of being able to write on a whiteboard and also be facing their students so they can see their face. Uh, so what we're doing here is basically simulating a math class, uh, working out an equation, working out a problem. Uh, this time we're writing on a glass door. Again, this was kind of our best interpretation with what we have here at the office. Uh, if you're trying to replicate this, we've seen this done uh, where teachers take just a small piece of plexiglass and they light it with LED lights so that it's brighter and sit behind it and write out the equation, uh, generally wearing a solid colored t-shirt background. Um, and as you can see, when you first write it, the writing is backwards, but using Wii Video, you can flip it. Yeah, just like we flipped the shadow portion for Max in the previous clip. You're just going to use the horizontal flip. So originally, when we shot this, Max was writing from his perspective in the correct format, I guess you would say. And then we just went ahead and flipped it so that the viewer can see what he's actually writing. Exactly. So I am actually left-handed, but once you flip it, it looks like I am right-handed. Yeah, and if you were a teacher, you could apply voiceover or even you know, depending on how you set this up, Max could be talking while he gives this lesson in math. Yeah. Uh, a couple things or challenges we had doing this was obviously the Claire, and we have a bit of a busy background, uh, but these are all fixable with more lighting. 
Yeah, if you wore a, a white t-shirt, maybe it'd be easier to read some of this too. 2020 hindsight. But uh, food for thought for all of our teachers out there. Kind of like a fun little way to spice up the class if you're, I don't know, perhaps you're using the kind of Zoom whiteboard effect. Maybe you want to try and mix things up or you're not good at writing on a computer. This is just another option out there. Yeah. And you could even utilize our record screen record feature or webcam record feature to um, actually achieve this. Yeah, it's another idea is to, you could basically film yourself writing on something or film um, screen record while you write on like Microsoft Paint or some sort of kind of free writing platform where you type out the equations and then voice over it once you're done. Awesome. I think those were all the ones we wanted to go over today. Yep, so special thanks to everyone who joined us today. As always, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, as well as hit the bell in the top right corner so you don't miss a beat. We also have our Wii Video Tuesday Tips and Tricks landing page where you can get email notifications for each new episode, which brings us to kind of a preview of our next episode. I'm excited to announce that next week's episode will be about TikTok transitions. Uh, we filmed kind of a nice fun sequence that we'll be going over and we'll actually preview that prior to next Tuesday. Uh, and next Tuesday's show will be about how we did those transitions and how you could leverage them as well. Should be fun. Yep. Uh, with that, thanks for joining us. As always, happy creating. And we'll see you all next week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.